in this video we're going to explore how we can make a chart for example we have a line chart and when we click on a button we will create a bar chart so let's start and explore how we can do that and how we create this interactivity on a chart so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a chart and i'm going to start from completely from scratch and i'm going to make a standard design that i quite often use for my chart design and after from there on we will start to do some adjustments so what we're going to do first is get a bootstrap template then we're going to make a card that will be in the center here we'll put in the chart all right so what we're going to do here is i'm going here in bootstrap and i'll just say here probably get started that's fine and in here halfway through you'll find the starter template this is the one i want so i'm going to click on this and copy this once i copy that this one will be this file here specifically i'm going to save this in here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all of these excess codes here. Let's remove all of this. We can remove this as well. And this title here will be uh, chart.js. And what we're going to do here is we're going to make this for simplicity's sake. I'll just speed up here by saying class is a background color. And a BG success for making the green color. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to create a div. And in this div, we will make for a column, basically offset of two and column eight, meaning that within that column eight, we create a card and that card will have the chart in there. All right. So I'm going to do here class equals column eight, call eight. And then we have an offset number two, closing div. And what I want to do is I want to have a margin up and a margin down. So I say here M y5 all right then what we're going to do here is we're going to create a card so in div class card and close that oh let's move that sorry and then between here we're going to give it div class card body And here eventually we'll put our canvas, but what we will do is we will give it a chart.js title. So chart.js 2.9.4, that's the most latest version that we're using. And then we say here a uh, horizontal line, that will be fine. All right, save this. No, just cancel that. All right, save this. We've got that. Now we have already something beautiful. Of course, now let's get the chart.js. So what we're going to do here, we're going to do here, this button here and get started. And we're going to insert the JavaScript of Chart.js and the JavaScript library. So we can basically in here we have a bar chart, which is fine. We can copy the bar chart. We copy this here, canvas ID my chart. We'll put it in here. And I will remove all of this because the size of this will depend on the size of the card. So we don't have to do this anymore. Save this and I will say here uh, dynamic chart. Well, we just put a dash between this so it's easier to see. That will be our canvas ID. And what we're going to do here is we just copy all of this. We can copy all of this. And what I'm going to do is I'll put it here down at the bottom. Here, I will put in JavaScript. And then I'll just do an indentation here and give it a const. And here as well, a const. What I'm going to do here above is to put in the JavaScript library of chart.js so what we're going to do here is you don't see it in here but if you click on getting started you will see a chart.js library if i click on that all right start to load is it loading installation no, let's see what's going on here all right it doesn't want to load oh there we are doesn't want to load well all right copy this you can see here this is 2.8 don't worry about it we need 2.9 or you can use 2.8 as well but can adjust 2.9 that's no problem because that's the latest version they have save this now if we oh no we don't refresh yet or we don't yet go through the things because we adjusted the canvas id here so if you look here at our ctx our variable or com ctx document that get element by id you can see this is not matching yet because we have this one here all right replace that here we are save that now if we save this refresh here there we are all right so we have this now and what we want to do eventually is we want to work on if we would click on it we want to convert this to a 
let's let's say a line chart. And then when we click on that, it's like you have two options here, line chart, bar chart. So how do we do this? Well, first of all, let's create another horizontal line here to the low. And this horizontal line, and within here we have two buttons. Button and then the class. BTN, uh, BTN success, all right, for a green button. And this button will be a line chart. Let me have another one. And we will make this one info for blue or light blue color button. And in here we say bar chart. So once we save this, let's check here. All right, so we have these here, and it's not that nice, but fair enough. Should be fine. What we're going to do now is here, we're going to basically give them an ID so we can identify them in JavaScript. So once we have this here, we say here ID, and then what we're going to give this, it will be line. And this ID will be bar. Well, I'm not sure if this will be maybe any, no, there will not impact them. These are no, not impacted by that. All right, so we have these, we have the ID names. What we're going to do now here in JavaScript because these are not yet variables, so that's fine. So we say here a constant, and this constant is line. And we say here get element by ID. And what is the ID we're going to select? This is line. So it was that. Same story here constant bar equals, oh, sorry, here document, document dot, and here document dot get element by id and we skip bar there we are all right so we've got these items now now we've got them and what we're going to do now because basically what we did now is we connected this with javascript all we have to do now is to create a trigger i'm going to do here an add event listener so we're going to say here this is the following add event listener so we say this Um, a line, sorry, line dot add event listener, and then here when we say is the following, we say on click it should do a function. So say on, oh sorry, on click do a function, comma, or what will be the function's name? We'll say here change chart. And we have the same as well for the bar chart. Let me say here bar and then change chart. Or change or maybe not change chart, we say here change line. So it goes to the line chart. And this one was like that, change to bar chart. Alright. So we can test this to see if it, if it really works. So we can create a function here. And uh, our function here is of course the change line. And in here, let's what we're going to do is we're going to test if if we click on it, does JavaScript see something? So console.log. And here, so the moment we click on the line chart, we say change chart function. Alright. And we can do exactly the same here with not line but bar, and then we say here bar function. Let's save this and refresh. And if we open up our developer tab, and if we click now, we should see the message change line function. And if we click on bar, change bar function. All right, so it means that if we click, it's JavaScript recognize what we're doing. So now, what we need to do is we need to convert this into a update function. So basically, we update this, or we can move this now, and I'm going to put it here below. And then in here, all that we're going to do is first, we want to get, or we have to understand what are we going to adjust. We want to adjust this part here. Because the moment we type in here line, if we save this, you can see now it converts to a line. And if we say here bar, it goes back to bar. All right? So this is the one we need to target. So how do we pinpoint this? Well, we know, and if you've seen my other videos, you know you have to go from here 
the constant my chart and then you go here down to type or to, to data and data sets and from there you can select this part but in this case we don't go into data sets or data we have to go from here and then we go to type but to go to type you can access it directly from my chart dot type doesn't work like that chart has, has a standard configuration term for that one which is slightly different it's a different structure compared to the data part or the options so that's what we're going to do now so let's explore so what we're going to do here is the following we say here first what is the name of it let's just get that my chart dot let me say here config dot type if i'm not mistaken am i think just type so we use here the config and to show you what happens if you do not use the config, we can do it here. Let me put it in semicolon, that's more nice. All right, so we can remove the config. So the moment we, char we, we press the change bar, we will type in this. Let's see what happens here. You will see that this will not give the value as we desire. So we save this, refresh here, open up developer tab. And now if you click on the line chart, you can see right now this button indicates bar that is correct because the current chart is now bar so if you click here on bar chart you can see now without the config namespace it says undefined so you always need to have the config namespace between to get this exact data for the type it's only for the type for other issues it's not necessary all right so now we are here so basically what we want to do now is here we say update type we can say here as well const update type equals what exactly do we want to do here we should be a line chart so we say line all right and then when we say here basically this we copy this my chart config dot type equals update type all right and then once that happens we can say here my chart dot update function all right so we can remove this but then we have of course our line part here so we do exactly the same here but then bar and once we did this let's save that oh uh, yes, let's say that. See if we work. I'm not sure this will work within this, but it quickly because it's in the function space between. So let's double check here. See, we do online. All right, there we are. And then we go back to bar. That works nicely. Now, as you can see here, of course, what happens now is here. That's the only issue right now. Is it changes because it goes to the bar type of structure, and this is normal because we have the bar type of design here where the labels are bars as well however but this is basically the way how you want to adjust this and we can change this for example maybe you don't want line and bar i get this but maybe you want horizontal bar let's save this refresh and if you click now bar nope as you can see something is horizontal bar sorry make sure you type it correctly horizontal bar refresh now well it changes it doesn't change completely the entire chart oh. but that's basically the way you can do it apparently this needs more because what happened here this is the issue with the horizontal bar bar chart is basically it doesn't adjust and the main reason why it doesn't adjust is simply because we are not redrawing the chart what we're really doing is we're just adjusting the data points here so if you have to move this basically we need to redraw the entire chart 